Here with manager Chris Search after a point here at Worthing. First of all, Searchy, overall thoughts on the performance and the result? Yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I'm very happy, mate. You know, Worthing started the season really well, undefeated. Um, came here with, a, obviously, a spring in their step against a side that's obviously five um, five league losses on the on the bounce, I think it is. So, you know, massively contrasting forms. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon, really, with a point, to be honest, mate. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's very hard fault. I thought, um, obviously, they're going to create chances. You know, very, very attacking, fluent side. Um, you know, looking to play through the thirds, really attractive uh, football ground. Um, and, and, and us on the other hand at the moment, we're sort of having to um, sort of grit, grit games out, confidence a little bit low, but I thought the boys showed uh, showed what they had about them today, you know, really showed a lot of character, a lot of fighting spirit, and, and I felt we uh, we got a, a deserved equaliser. You mentioned they're the five league losses in a row. Obviously, it must be nice, even if it is just a point, it's not a win, but to get out of that sort of rut and kickstart your season, really? Uh, mate, hopefully, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not naive enough to think, um, you know, we're out of this rut. It's, uh, it's, it's been a tough run, you know, but we, we are where we are. And as, as I said to the boys, like, um, people, you, you don't grow or, or learn through uh, when things are going well. You know, it's only in adversity and when, and when, and when, you're, when you're struggling and when you're challenged that you actually grow and develop. And, you know, the boys over the last five games have obviously had to try and do that. Um, I felt today um, they, 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 they got what they uh, they got what they deserved. And maybe obviously, you know, Wervin, as I say, had the chances, hit the post, I think, and, and whatever else, hit the crossbar. But I think, you know, the boys, you know, after after Saturday, I think they, they deserved a little break. And I'm glad that they actually got their just deserves, as I say, with a, with a point. Of course, still missing a few for injury. Of course, Blanche and Louis, just to name a few. Could you give us any sort of update when Louis, they'll be back to fitness? Yeah, I mean, Louis, Louis will be available Saturday. We'll have an in-house friendly uh, on Saturday in-house. We'll have a friendly on Saturday for, for a couple of the boys. He'll have his last uh, last sort of um, rehab session on Thursday. So Louis will be available for some minutes on Saturday. Um, Blanche, uh, just trying to strengthen his hamstring. You know, again, he's probably only a week or so away. Uh, spoke to Skip today, Aaron Pollock. He's still probably a couple of weeks away, but he's making really good progress. So, you know, we are we are close to being back to full strength, which is which is much needed. You know, as I said, like Blackie's obviously had his uh, breakaway to, to go and cover his faults after obviously the much um, the much muted news uh, of, of this poor boy. Um, so, you know, he, he was unavailable at the weekend, but he come out today, played him slightly higher, and I thought Blackie was superb. Um, a real good performance, um, as I say, and really, um, you know, him and Melvin Minter were, were, were two standouts for me tonight. Of course, you mentioned there, Melvin Minter, another solid game for him. Been brilliant all season. It must be nice. And how impressed? How impressed have you been with his performances since signing for the club? Yeah, Melvin's class, mate. You know, he's he's a he's a real true pro. He, he knows what he wants. His focus, his attention to detail. I said this before. His his uh, concentration in in, 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 in in what he wants to achieve. What he actually where he wants to go in the game, you know, he, he's been top draw around the uh, around the group as well. You know, he's he's a he's a real good uh, got a real good heart on him as well. You know, he sends some good messages to to the group and, and some nice messages to me, like sort of trying to back her. So I've got nothing but good things to say about Melvin. You know, and, and, and as you say on the pitch, he's been he's been excellent and, and was we made some remarkable saves tonight. Of course, you know. That they're going to create chances, as I said, but Melvin, I thought, was uh, was man of the match for us. Because you mentioned the uh, friendly we got this weekend. Of course, there's no league game until the week after on the eighth, so we travel to Haven. Mm. Of course, it will be a tough test as everyone is in this league. What will you look to take from it tonight and the last two encouraging performances into that yeah, one? I think I think what I want to take from tonight is for the boys to start believing in themselves. You know, as I say, like. Um, you know, uh, it's, I'm a little bit older than obviously most of the groups have been around the block a little bit, and you know, life's uh, had its ups and downs, shall we say? But I think what I want the boys to to learn is, it, like, without they need to start believing in what they can do. Um, you know, week in week out, like I see what they're doing training. You know, I know they're good footballers. You know, sometimes their work rate and, and maybe application is, is questioned from people on the outside. And a hundred percent back that. You know, a couple of the games that, that, that their effort and, and and work rate's been questioned. I, you know, I, I back it because they haven't been they haven't been to the levels that is expected of, of, of players at this level and, and certainly of players at this football club. But 
you know, as I said um, to the group, you know, like you don't just become a bad player overnight. You know, uh, form is temporary, class is permanent, and I back them boys to to, to get to kickstart themselves from this result tonight to get out of where we are. It's it's going to be tough, you know. As I say, like there's no there's no easy games in this uh, in this division. But you know what I'll take out of it, or what I'd like, is for the boys to have a little bit more belief, to start trusting themselves, to start believing in in what we want to do as a football club, and and, and then from there, you know, with a, with a bit more confidence and a bit more swagger, a bit more arrogance, um, I'm I'm certain the the results will come. Lovely. Cheers, Archie.